we go, losing self-control. Hello and welcome again. The track operator within Expresso is very cool. It will allow you to read the values of any animation track. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say we do have this cube and we do have this really cool animation from the zero in the timeline. So let's hit a uh, keyframe zero and then go to frame 60 and go like 200 and then hit a keyframe and uh, let's uh, go back in the frame 120 to zero. So we do have this really cool animation. Let's just read out the values from this animation track of this cube. To get to that animation track, we should right click on this X axis and then go to animation, show F curve. And then we do have this curve or this animation track. Let's go back to the track operator. And we do have this yellow color, which means that this operator is missing something. And uh, yes, it's uh, missing that track that we want to read the values from. So let's uh, just click this uh, position track and drag it and put it into that slot. Now we no longer see that yellow color, which means that this track operator is not missing anything. And this input, we do have the time. So let's add the time operator and then connect it to the input port of this track operator. And then let's add a result operator just to see what's going on. All right, so let's connect that to the result operator and then go to calculate animation refresh. Let's go back to the beginning of the timeline, just hit play. So we do have this value from the animation track of that cube. Okay, let's just put this to a good use and uh, add a, a tube for instance. Let's just put that tube into Expresso Let's just um, extract this inner radius, maybe, and then connect it to the uh, Apple port of the track uh, operator. And then let's just see what's, what will happen. So the values from the animation track of that cube has been applied to the inner radius of this tube using this track operator. So this is it about the track operator. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next.